Good morning, everyone. Uh, happy Saturday. This reflection is taken from today's gospel, and that is from John 14, verses 7 through 14. The basic summary of what happens in this gospel is that Jesus, he tries to reveal to his disciples to teach them that uh, if you've seen him, he says, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. And there's kind of what I, it's kind of comical to me, just the dialogue that happens because Jesus has said, he says pretty plainly, quote, if you know me, then you also know my father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. And then immediately after that quote, um, Philip says, master, show us the father and that will be enough for us. I'm like, ah, uh, Philip, Jesus just said that you've already seen him. And Jesus just rhetorically says, have I not been with you? You know, you've been with me now for three years, essentially, and you don't know me, Philip? And it's a rhetorical question because, of course, Philip knows Jesus. They've been together for three years. Imagine how close you would get to someone that you were with every day for three straight years. Um... So anyways, he, he goes on and he's saying like, the words I speak, the, the works I do, the, uh, my mission basically on earth has been to reveal the Father because, and, and why can Jesus do this? Because he is one with the Father. He is the image of the Father that we can look to Jesus and see the Father. And that's beautiful because I know for me, it's hard to know that um, we see a lot about Jesus in the Gospels. And okay, like, hey, I can understand um, who he is because he says things. And I can, I can read his, how he reacts to things. I can get a sense of who he is and his virtues and everything. And I can see Jesus' compassion and his mercy and everything. Uh, but this is such an important truth because... You know, we don't see directly like, you know, the father walking around healing people or the father doing all these different things. But Jesus uh, says to us that whatever we see him doing, Jesus, whatever he does, uh, we can see the father in that very act. So Jesus comes and he reveals the father's goodness. He comes and he reveals the father's power. He reveals the father's character. Think about the story of the prodigal son where uh, Jesus talks about the, uh, the son who left and you know basically told the father he wished he was dead and wanted all of his money. Just give me my inheritance now. And then he goes and he ru basically ruins his life, the son does. And then he talks about this, this story about this merciful father who welcomes his wayward child home. That story is meant to show us the heart of God the Father. And it's so beautiful because Jesus is so in tune with the heart of the Father that everything he talks teaches us about God is so spot on. Uh, it's, it's exactly the Father's heart. So that is something that we can sit with today. You know, how the question is, do I, how is my relationship with God the Father? How do I view God the Father? Do I see him as a, an authoritarian, um, angry father? Maybe, you know, we had growing up a difficult relationship with our earthly fathers. Maybe we've never reflected on the love of God the Father for us. Um, my encouragement for everyone today is after you read this or you listen to this, uh, this little reflection and maybe read through the gospel today from John, reflect on uh, how can I know the Father better today? How can I look to Jesus and his example and his life and learn a little more about God the Father and his love for me? So very simple today. Jesus comes to reveal the Father, and, uh, and we can see who the Father is through him. 
And so I hope this helps you. I hope uh, it gives you something to ponder on today. Have a great rest of your weekend and stay safe. God bless.